He loved animals. Oh, we taught him right. He knew how to give flowers to two ladies and open doors. He loved to cook. It was a beautiful sunny California day and he came down um, with his uh, friend's mother and him and they were playing tag and he tried to slip through the gate and the gate activated, it jumped, it put him to cardiac arrest. Sisters Julie and Michelle continue to deal with the loss of Julie's son, Marlo, who died tragically in an accident involving an automatic security gate. Operation SafeGate wants to put an end to these types of preventable tragedies. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates there were 1,500 emergency room injuries between 2011 and 2015. The majority of incidents involve public access gates around communities, condominiums, and apartment buildings. Operation SafeGate offers these tips to ensure your safety around automatic security gates. Never allow children to play on or around automatic gates. Never stick hands, legs, or head through openings on gates. Never walk through an automated gate system that is intended for vehicles. Look for a separate pedestrian entrance. Make sure your gate bears the mark of a nationally recognized testing laboratory such as UL or ETL. Make sure an automatic gate tragedy never happens to you or a loved one. I miss him every day. For more information, go to cpsc.gov.